All I want to say is that I love my wife. I, I am so in love with my wife. Thank you for giving me the honor of being your husband. Now I know you had one request of me for our wedding. So I don't want to start off our marriage on a disappointing note. So I decided to start it off on an embarrassing note instead and give in to your request. She is one of those people who just brightens up a room. When she walks in, the air just feels happier, lighter, people laugh more, even if she's not the one making the joke. It's because Chevy, just being Chevy, makes the world a better place. Just her presence uplifts everyone around her. Looking out at you all tonight, it is seriously surreal for me that I'm the one up here making my groom's speech when so many times throughout my life, I've been you. I've been an attendee to a wedding. I was always just someone in the room, but was never the groom. Always a guest, but never the best. And I used to sit there and look at these beautiful couples, so happy and so excited. And I used to always wonder what was going through their minds. What did it feel like getting married? But I also couldn't help thinking that these people were nuts, that they were crazy to be making this huge commitment. How could someone be so sure to commit themselves to another person for the rest of their life, the rest of their lives? I used to be sitting there thinking how lucky I was to be single and free. An attached man, a lone ranger, a lone wolf. No one to tell me what to do. Had all the time in the world to myself. Rohan Solo, they used to call me. But one night at home, about three years ago, at the end of 2016, I was starting to feel something that I had never felt before. A very unfamiliar feeling. I started to feel lonely. Even though I had a wonderful life with wonderful family and friends around me, I started feeling like something was missing, like someone was missing. So that night, I decided to turn to the Almighty Father and to pray for something I had never prayed for before. I decided to pray to meet the person I was meant to be with. And I continued praying for an entire year until the 26th of November, 2017. Now I know we're here to talk about the bride and groom, but to understand this epic love story, we need to go eight years back to when the handsomest brother first met Shiv. Shiv, you remember? This happened at a party eight years ago. I was just chilling, dancing, enjoying myself. Uncle Terry walks across the dance floor. He holds me by the hand and looks me straight in the eye, as if he knew this introduction would forever change our family's destinies. chance meeting led to a lifelong friendship. Now, the first aspect of Shibi that I got to know was the fire starter. She's the life of the party. But then two years ago at a Thanksgiving dinner, 
I met a completely different Shivi Muji, and this is when Prince Charming and Snow White met for the first time. I like telling this story. That night, I accompanied my brother Rich as an uninvited guest, and we were late to top it off. When we arrived, we were greeted at the door by none other than a slightly annoyed Siobhan Kalu, a look I know well. The first words I ever remember her saying to me were, You're late. But little did she know, I was right on time. <laughs> I must admit that I was smitten and didn't waste any time in asking her out. <laughs> On that date, I admitted to her that exactly one year before we met, I had started praying to meet someone. The next thing I knew, Shivi's face went pale. I mean, the girl was in shock. We ended that date with me thinking I had totally freaked her out. You see, the reason her face went pale was because exactly a year before Chevy met me, she had started praying to meet someone as well. She said, like me, that her life was pretty perfect, yet she still felt a longing to meet someone and she couldn't explain why. The most shocking part was that she had never revealed that fact to anyone before. God works in mysterious ways, and He knows exactly what He's doing. He, above all else, is the reason why we are here tonight. I promise to love you every day, through whatever the circumstance, till my last breath. I promise that I will stand by you through any trials or tribulations that we shall face. I promise to be your rock and confident, a safe place you can depend on. I promise that God will always be a constant in our life, for he has brought us together today and always. Love never fails. <laughs> With my parents, who made me who I am today, God has been overly generous to me in my life. When I prayed and asked him for something, he blessed me with tenfold more than I asked for. Three years ago, I told him I felt lonely and I wanted to meet someone. And he didn't only send me one, he sent me an entire family. A family who has embraced me as one of their own. The love, warmth, and family unity that I have experienced through these amazing and wonderful people is second to none. Siobhan, I give to you Rohan, my eldest son. I welcome you with open arms and embracing heart. A good healthy laugh is sunshine in a home. And Siobhan, you are that sunshine to Rohan. Rohan beams every time he sees. Every time he says Shivi, he beams. Take care of each other and take care of your marriage. Most importantly, take care of Bella when I give you access. Never lose that amazing positive spirit that you both have and make sure that if not all days, most days are filled with the joy and laughter you experience every day before the new challenges of marriage. But I always cherish the moments, and I say moments, that we spend together because in these times, moments can become history. But the memories that we have will always be there. The Kalu family celebrates life and celebrates almost every single thing that happens in our life. To Chevy and Ro, may your love burn brightest in the darkest hour. May Almighty God bless them with good health, wealth, and happiness for all eternity. We love you guys. And best wishes, and we're ready to fight. Congrats.